Days more harder days as an Elder Guardian in Hardcore Minecraft. I'm a regular Guardian working for the Elder Guardian boss. Whatever he tells me to do, I gotta do it, or else I die. Will I become the ultimate buff guardian and overthrow the king? Can I find a way to travel to the lost city of Atlantis and steal the riches? Why well, still you have to find out? For every one like this video gets, you save one guardian. And if you enjoy my videos, consider subscribing and enabling all notifications. On day one, I spawned inside an ocean monument, and the king of this place is the Elder Guardian. He's the only one with access to the Atlantean portal. So it looks like I can see underwater even better, and I can defeat my enemies with lasers. On day two, I swim around the ocean, kill a bunch of fish for food, and they got wood and iron from a sunken ship. Let's craft an iron pickaxe. There we go. Now this will come in handy. On day three, I found another ocean monument. So I snuck inside and stole the gold. Ring of experience, shiny diamond, buried treasure map, water protection. What is all this? What eight blocks of gold? It just wasn't enough. So I pulled off another heist and then came across a giant barnacle. Yo, what is this thing? Wait, what? It looks like a giant kraken. Let's fight him. Go guardians, attack this dude. Oh no, this is kind of sus. My lasers are barely doing anything on him. It's just swallowing all the guardians. Oop, ah, take this. Oh, no, no, he's trying to eat me. Chill. <laughs> I got him. And on day four, I finally swam back home. There he was, the Elder Guardian boss, just casually looking at me, making sure I'm not doing anything wrong. That guy right there, that's the leader of the entire place. And if we don't listen to him, he's gonna kill us. So I placed on a coffee table, I converted my gold blocks into gold ingots, and then crafted a full golden armor set. And then by day five, I built my very own room, hoping the Elder Guardian wouldn't notice. I even created a gold throne inside. All we need are some blast furnaces, and a crafting table. All of our blocks we'll keep inside here, and all the valuables will go inside here. Then the food over here. And extra armor and stuff will be inside this chest. And by day six, I was over it. Listening to the Elder Guardian was just not it. Go get me diamonds! You see what I'm talking about? Over it! Having to listen to him and getting mind fatigue was very annoying. So, I decided to create an evil plan. As the upcoming Guardian King, I'm making a vow for all the Guardians. Mark my words. I will overtake this place and kill the Elder Guardian. What did you say? Not nothing. Here, here's some more diamonds. Enjoy. Great. Mining fatigue. On day seven, I visited a bunch of ruins, killed off the drowned, and grabbed all the loot. I was trying to get some better gear so I could be a little bit stronger. I was also a little bit worried that the other guardian was going to kill me. Okay, that was kind of a close one. Oh, that's a jackpot right there. Let's go. Just really hope I don't die to these guys. Especially not to a drowned with a trident. Come on, that's just pathetic. Looks like I have two brand new rings. The ring of the dolphin. And ring of experience, which I already have. What does Echo 3 do? Interesting. Now I can swim extremely quick with the new dolphin grace ring. Oh, I'm zooming, baby. Yee! Ha <laughs> That is so cool. By day eight, I had a bunch of treasure maps inside my inventory. So I started searching for the buried treasure. This gave me a chance to find diamonds and other valuables instantly. Okay, this is kind of tricky. This one is above land. Oh, wow. I can't do anything on land. What if I casually just break through it like this? Yes, that's the strategy that we need. And being guardian is pretty cool. You break things so quickly underwater. Oh, that's it. Jackpot. Okay, all right. Get me back on land. All right. That was kind of sus. Oh, not this thing again. Oh, no. You want to fight? Try me. Luckily, I have spikes in my body and I can do way more damage. On day nine, the other guardian boss had a meeting. He brought in a captured villager and then slowly killed it. It was kind of messed up. Then he demanded we get him more diamonds. I'm not sure what he needed it for, but it must have been important. Bro, that was messed up. That's exactly what's going to happen to you if you don't get my diamonds. Uh, go okay. now. Go. This is getting out of hand. What is this? Only five diamonds? That's all I found, okay? Ah! Oh! Day 10, I started expanding out the ocean monument. I opened up a bunch of rooms and created more space to travel. On day 11, I saw the Elder Guardian boss expanding out his brand new room. He was placing down a bunch of valuable items everywhere, such as diamonds, gold, and even emeralds. He was even surrounded by a bunch of guards. But as soon as he left the room, I decided to sneak inside. And once I was inside of the room, I went inside of his chest and grabbed the infinite water and strong laser ability. And then I quickly left the room. So not only was I able to go on water now, but my strong laser ability was extremely powerful. I had no reason charge and I could annihilate a pack of mobs in no time and on days 12 to 15 while I was swimming around I came across a massive pirate ship yeah check this place out no way a massive pirate ship well this should be some pretty good loot let's just sneak on board real quick Ugh, come on all right we're almost there Ugh, perfect so what do we got going on over here Yay. any good loot I got me some fire charges probably won't work it on the water <laughs> nothing in the barrels what about up top over here as long as there's some water I'm super quick <laughs> we got anything inside let's see more barrels 
barrel is completely empty. I'll take this real quick. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, no. Okay. All right. It's kind of dangerous. Oh, that was sus. Let's flood this entire place over here. Oh, that's a lot of mobs. Yup. That is a lot of mobs. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Well, luckily, I'm one of them, so they won't even attack me. They even have creepers over here. Don't mind me coming through. Look at all this loot. The most important part is the fish. That's it. I'm taking these guys out. No straits left alive. This strong laser ability is absolutely overpowered. Oh, hey, little creeper. How you doing? Nothing in the barrels. Got some iron ingots and some barrels. Even a golden apple. And some glow berries. Another golden apple. Yo, we got the jackpot over here. Efficiency three. That's going to be extremely useful. I'm really hoping we find find a notch apple oh okay this is kind of tricky ow 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 don't kill me don't kill me oh, way too easy oh a diamond this place is filled okay i think that should be nearly everything but what do we have downstairs let's break these spawners and flood this entire place ah uh, i don't fit at this point if i flood this entire place i can make it my own oh there they go all right i got the mad oh jeez. Oh, all right don't kill me don't kill me oh no no, no, no. Oh, I'm taking them all out. Give me that XP. There's so many of them. Another golden apple with some glow berries. Okay, I'm definitely super rich now. We don't have to worry. Now, what do we have underwater here? Some kind of a jail cell. Oh, filled with magmas. Oh, no. What is this? I'm flooding it all. This is a straight up pirate ship. Look at this. Diamonds, emeralds. We even have blocks of iron. I'm taking it all. They have so much resources here. Blocks of emerald, diamond ores, even stacks of iron. We don't need no copper, but I'll take the gold. And just to sabotage the entire place, we're gonna break everything underneath. We're flooding this pirate ship. Wait, there's more? No way. <gasps> Yo, blocks of diamonds. Forget about the name tags. Give me those diamonds. This place needs some more water. There it is. Perfect. One block of diamond. And that puts me at 14 diamonds and 60 emeralds. I guess I'll take the tridents. Let's take out these magma cubes. As I was saying, the laser ability is just way too powerful. And what do we got for the nether portal? Up, oh, lava. Ow, ow. Nope, 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 nope. Obsidian. And a ring of fire resistance. Oh, ah, huh. I think it's time to head back home. Take this. Yay. From day 16 to 21, I explored a bunch of ocean ravines and found exposed mine shafts filled with diamonds. Yo, check this place out. Look at this. Ha, okay, that's kind of sus because I'm probably going to fall through there. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. All right. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. I almost just died. I'll bust up for the water. I feel like a fish. Give me all these diamonds. I think we're kind of playing this a little bit risky. Oh, that's lava. Lava. Who knew? I'm weak against lava. Don't mind me. Just casual guardian. Okay, there's no diamonds here for me. To the next one. Oh, okay, if I don't die. Check out these glow squid. What's up, guys? Now, what do we got down here? This entire place is completely flooded. Still haven't seen any diamonds yet, but we do have lapis. Let's go. That will give me plenty of XP. And an axolotl. Oh, it's so cute. Now, what is all this? What? Looks like it's absolutely nothing. Thing. Now, what is this red ore over here? Huh? Wait, what? He dropped literally nothing. Ah, that's right. Don't have a pickaxe. But I did find some kind of a ocean monument mine shaft. Interesting. Oh, a chest. Shiny diamond. It's not that bad. I'm just here for the diamonds. And it keeps going as well. Huh. I wonder if any guardians actually know about this place. Probably not. Oh, that's not good. Okay, it's my enemies. That's kind of sus. Take this. Got him. And break the spawner. More shiny diamonds. And not to the shells. Even protection four. The more chests we find, the better. There there we go, an iron pickaxe. Now, what do we got over here? Now, it just keeps on going. This time, we got some more iron ingots and a retribution book. Oh, there's some more. Let's go. Now, what are these weird ores? I know this is redstone, but what is this? Right over there. Interesting. Oh, drop nothing. I guess the only way to mine it was with a diamond pickaxe, but I've yet to find any diamonds. I'm just messing around. I got it. <laughs> and what do we got inside so the mine? Oh, that's the jackpot. That's it. Got another spawner, and would you look at that? Another abandoned ruins. Yeah, these chests are absolutely terrible. Where's the diamonds that I'm looking for? <gasps> All right, this is kind of sus. This place is huge. Look at this. There's diamonds everywhere. I think I hit the jackpot. Wait, what's going on here? Wait, what? Oh, no. You okay? All right, bang it up. Oh, jeez. Oh, what in the world? Get me out. Get it. Get me out. I'm getting claustrophobic. No, nope, not spiders. No, thank you. No, nope, I'm out of here. Am I really? up? Oh, two hearts. Two hearts. Two hearts. Oh, eat glow berries. Eat glow berries. I'm out of food. I'm out of fish and food. Let's up to the cooked salmon. What in the world? This has to be one of the biggest water caves I've ever seen before. And it's got these weird pillars of obsidian. Let's go, jackpot, baby. Oh, what is... Whoa. Oh, dude, I'm gonna end up dying like this. Oh, this place is so dangerous. I just wanted to see what those things were over there. It's like massive pillars of prismarines. What? Oh, not this again. Oh, 
<laughs> it was a near death experience. Ow, ow. I found even more diamonds. Ow, no, no. And that makes up over 36 diamonds from non stop mining. That was absolutely brutal for me. Oh, right, there's more. Ha, <laughs> aha. And on day 22, I crafted my full diamond armor set and created a trident. On days 20 to 30, I made a mission to collect every single ring in the game. So I started searching for ruins and collected all the loot. Woo, that's the jackpot. Ring of speed, ring of experience. Yo, what? There's a double chest. I even got a red velvet cake. Will I have a heart attack if I eat this? Nope, that could be fine. And check this out, an underwater huh, obsidian portal. Obsidian portal, nether portal. <laughs> Give me that gold. And where exactly is that chest? It's gotta be located somewhere here. I have one of the six rings that I need. First, I'm gonna replace the experience orb and now I can swim even faster ring of slow falling ouch definitely don't need that thing but let's keep looking around it shouldn't be that difficult hey check this out some sort of an ocean ruins i can't tell if i've been here before now somewhere inside here should be a chest there we go Oh, nothing at all. Just water protection. I'm not exactly sure what water protection even does. I never heard of that before. Ring of Undying. Yo, that's a mythic ring. Now, I can only carry two rings at a time. So, it is still somewhat tricky. So, my current go-to is going to be Ring of Speed paired with the Ring of Dolphin. But the Ring of Undying will be great for combat. The Ring of Regeneration. A suspicious stew. Let's take this music disc with us. And another water protection book. What happens if a guardian places down a boat? Do I die? <laughs> no way. I'm a guardian in a boat. And I'm not actually dying. But I do swim way faster <laughs> let's go now that's what i call ascend i wonder what these dolphins think now what is this place some sort of an abandoned i don't even oh wait there might have some treasure in there a lock of a c3 can i go fishing underwater i don't think that's how it works nope never mind ow don't kill me nope and what do we got in here ring of the hungerless and a brain treasure map oh nature you scary it's trying to eat a dolphin oh it's gone oh man oh 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 it's so graphic hold on i'm gonna save its life hey don't eat the dolphin bad <laughs> that's a full sunken ship look at this thing massive how did this even sink that's what i'm wondering <laughs> That's a jackpot. Now, what is all the way down here? Got me another chest. This type of buried treasure map, no thanks. I'm not trying to do no hard work. <laughs> as much as I love the buried treasure, it's just not it. Okay, I'm over it. And what is that over there? Look at this thing. Huh, those pillagers. Oh, yeah, that's gotta be some pillagers. Let's go check it out. Oop, yay! <laughs> Yo, what's goody, boys? How you doing? I'm flooding this place. <laughs> I feel like a ninja. Oh, ring of speed and dive. Wait, ring of mining too. This is the jackpot, baby. Let's see what else we got inside here. Not only is it full of water, but let's see what we got upstairs. This reminds me of the previous 100 days I've done. I knew there was a place somewhere like this before. Ah, yes, 100 days as a cat. We did loot a pillager factory. Yo, there it is. This is what I'm talking about. The jackpot. Hopefully, they don't get mad at me. There's got to be another secret chest somewhere up here, like a vault room. Okay, so I can't climb over the ladders. Hello? Oh, what is this? Oh, nope, they're mad. They're mad. Okay, let's zap them away. Is this all food or XP? Yeah, that's all food. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't do anything to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ow, yeah, chill. Stop it. Bad. I'm just trying to steal all your stuff. How big How big of a deal is that? Oh, what is this? Yo, more. Let's go. Yo, it's all the guardian and his infinite water. It's just ridiculously overpowered. I can literally do anything I want now. Oh, chest room. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I'm over it. Time to head back home. Nope. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Don't mess with a guardian. Oh, yeah. They are extremely mad at me. Very, very mad. They're trying to swim. Oh, they're coming after me. <laughs> nope. Gotta go. On day 31 to 35, the other guardian boss summoned all the guardians. He demanded to have a massive aquarium built inside of his ocean monument. What is it this time? Guardians, I need an aquarium full of dolphins, crabs, jellyfish, squids, and axolotls. What is this? What is he giving us? Mob catchers? Oh, come on, man. We gotta do all the dirty work for him. So we gotta get him dolphins, crabs, jellyfish, and squids. Okay, well, uh, the first one should be pretty simple. If I can find a squid right now. Got the squid. Now I need an axolotl or a dolphin. I can't seem to be able to capture a dolphin, which is a good thing. So I'll see if I can substitute it with something else. I also doubt he'll notice. And worse comes to worse, we can just bring one in. Now, the axolotl should be a little bit more difficult. It gotta be somewhere underground. Oh, got me the axolotl. Wait, is this the blue axolotl? I think this is the rare one. I'll take another one just in case. Next up is gonna be the crab. Yo, where's the jellyfish at? I know there's somewhere around here. I just saw them too. Hello, Mr. Jellyfish. Oh, there we go. Yeet, got it. Ow. Okay, they kind of zap you. And turns out I also can't capture the jellyfish. Ow, they're actually trying to kill me. I think this will... Nope, nope, still can't get it. Great. Okay, so next up, let's 
grab all the glass that we need and we're gonna find a pretty solid spot for the aquarium somewhere where we can actually see it so let's convert this into actual aquarium sections what is the other guardian boss doing oh he's trying to kill the guardians what is he why is he doing that it's because they're not working okay we gotta get back to work that dude does not play games at all all right that's gonna be the first place right here now let's create glass all around here and then place our axolotl inside no it's swimming out oh no oh no oh no, no, no. Oh, oh that was a close one back in there buddy do not swim out trust me it's like a death trap and for the second aquarium is gonna go over here let's cover this all up this one is gonna be for the squid also hunted by the other guardians y'all are just straight up evil you're literally asking for a death wish now as for the dolphin that's gonna be the tricky part i gotta find a way to get inside over here so we gotta use food to lure it in so what do dolphins eat i'm here by the and yo by the friendly you want some fish huh think you guys want some fish right come on follow me they're taking me to the treasure instead of oh come on just follow me let's go stay no, 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 oh, come on. And this place will be for the rest. Dolphin King, the Blue Axolotl. What a creative name. Krabby Patty, Squid Master 9000. Perfect names. And this one is going to be for the crab. And that completes the aquarium. Days 36 to 40, I went exploring for ocean pyramids. There it is, the ocean pyramid. Wow, that's uh, that's kind of cool. You know, I never really imagined that Minecraft would have ocean pyramids, but hey, it's definitely something different. And plus, getting inside of it is super easy. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, uh, I think I walked into the wrong location. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Are y'all like, I don't know, are you guys part of like some kind of an evil group or something? Don't kill me. Nope, nope. That's not gonna work on me, trust me. Ow! Ow, that kinda hurts. Ow, even with like a full armor set, it still hurts. Now, what do we got inside this place? Let's take all the chains real quick. That'll be some great decorations for our place. And dig around for any type of treasures here. Okay, I'm guessing there's no treasures except down here. Let's make sure we're not gonna die. Oh, what was that? That was sus. How does this exactly work? What kind of a trap is this? What? There's rest on here? And some sort of a. Oh, another one of these mine shafts. Okay, back to business. We got a potion of regeneration. Ow. Okay, all right, this is really annoying. Potion of regeneration, tempo theft. Ow, 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 I'm dying. I'm literally dying. A shiny diamond, more diamonds, and a new disc. All right, that will do it. I'm out of here. Now for the next location, it's another ocean pyramid. It's just so easy to get inside as well. Oh, would you look at you guys? I'm gonna take them all with my fists. Oh, okay, yo, let me try a sword. Wow, swords are literally useless. I don't even want that. Using my spike ability is way better. Ow, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me. No, chill. Ow, okay, we're Retreat, retreat. Ooh. Wow, really? Zombies with absolutely nothing almost killed me. We need more food, my guy. <sighs> You want some of this? Huh? That's not gonna work this time. Let's go. Hey, give me that trident. Hey, buddy. Enjoy. It's like a game of who's gonna survive the longest. <laughs> hey, let's get rid of all these magma blocks. And of course, all the rest so that we don't need. There we go. Ring of Jabu's. Interesting. Shiny diamond. More gold. And that's the jackpot right there. Diamond horse armor, which we don't really need. Yay! On days 41 to 45, the Elder Guardian forces to mine obsidian. And they create an enchanting group for him. But luckily for me, this gave me a huge advantage. Come here. Go make me an enchantment table and some bookshelves. Oh, he's dropping books. Oh, well, that's kind of useful. At least we don't got to do all the work. So he just wants a bunch of obsidian. Totally makes sense. Before we do that, oh, he's killing everybody else. Oh, that's not good. Why is he always so mad? I don't understand. What I do know is his entire house over there, he's got plenty of bookshelves inside of his room. Let's first create a diamond pickaxe. All right, perfect. That will do it. And next, we got to find some obsidian. And while we're at it, let's put efficiency two on my book. Let's also create a diamond axe. And now that we have everything, we just need obsidian. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah. Ah, it's always so sus doing this. Ah, well, I found me some diamonds at least. All right. Oh, Almost done here. Gotta turn all. Ah! Oh, oh, okay. I was. Ah! Ah! Jeez. Wow. That is so sus. Ah, look at the diamonds. Great. Wow. Mining obsidian is so easy. Who knew gardens were so effective, right? Especially when it came to mining. I'm guessing he's gonna need plenty of obsidian to fortify his entire place. Probably make maybe like, you know, an enchant table. And I'm gonna guess also a portal to the nether for whatever reason. I hope he realizes that the water does not work in the nether. I also have the ring of mining. I wonder what this does. Not bad. Next up, we need plenty. Plenty of wood. Let's get me some wood. Casual guardian chopping on trees. What else is new? There we go. My goal should be to convert the entire overworld into water. Might as well have a giant tsunami. <laughs> oh, it's a puppy. Hello, puppy. You want to be a, uh, a water dog? Yeah, I got you. I'll bring you boys with me. Let's go. Let's go to the ocean. First, let's create an enchanting table. There we go. Uh, guardian boss, there you go. There's your enchanting table. You, oh, bookshelves. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, maybe he's not that such a bad guy at all. I'm still going to kill him. Now, let's convert this into a minor bookshelf room. Now, let's turn this entire place into a massive enchanting room. 
What do we got? Oh, okay, never mind. We're not there yet. There we go. You know, something tells me this is not gonna work underwater, unfortunately. We, we, we need to get rid of the air pockets. I need some sponge. Ah, ah, jeez. Let's place down a door, finish up this part over here, and then put in there a regular sponge. Now we have a level 30 enchants. The only issue is I can't really get inside. We'll put a crafting table in the corner. There we have it. And a single chest to store our other things. Here's your obsidian. Here's my lapis lazuli. All right, that's gonna do it. Level 36. Perfect. Okay, it's kind of tricky doing this, honestly. <laughs> Luckily, we got a double spawner. This is the struggle of a guardian. Oh, no, not the baby. Not the baby. I just need one more level. And let's enchant our gear. Doors 2, protection 4, protection 3. Arming 4 XP, be like. Great. <laughs> Gotta love it. Well, on the bright side, I'm gonna be much more powerful. Loyalty and unbreaking. All we need is Riptide. We'll go for Respiration 2. And the full armor set is complete. And let's see if this works. If I throw it, it should come back. Perfect. A brand new weapon to help me out. Yeah. Let's test it on the barnacle. Whoa. Let's go. Combined with the laser, it's definitely very powerful. Next, we're gonna create an anvil. Now I'm gonna try water protection on my new armor, which is gonna be my diamond helmet. Just to try something new. And no, you can't combine it with protection four. And for my second trident, we're gonna put Riptide. Now this guardian strike ability, not really sure what it does or how to use it. And that will do it. <laughs> now this is crazy. This Riptide ability makes me extremely fast and powerful. I can even throw my trident, then Riptide, hit them with a laser, and run up some combinations. Perfect. From these 46 to 50, our monument was raided by an army of barnacles. Oh, okay, something's going on. There's a lot of them. Well, this is the perfect time for me to test out my strengths. There they are. They're all inside this place. Take them out, boys. Let's go. No problem. Get them, boys. Don't let them live. We cannot let them win this. <laughs> Yo, this trident is not that good against them, unfortunately. Look at the other guardian boss. It's actually helping us out for once. Take these lasers. Let's go. Ugh. Luckily, the lasers are my best option. From a far distance, it makes it a lot easier. Yo, there's a whole pack. There's there's literally a whole pack trying to kill me. There's a few more inside the place. Take them out. There we go. Check all the corners. Make sure they're not alive. We can't have any more intruders here. Let's go. Yee. Got him. And that will do it. It takes about four trying to hits to take one out. And the last one. Yo, where you go, buddy? Have some of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You know, this 51 to 55, it was time for me to overthrow the Elder Guardian boss and take him out. First, we gotta get ready. I have my strong laser, both tridents, full armor set, the water protection helps a bunch. I have Ring of Regeneration and Ring of the Dolphin, four golden apples, and infinite water in case this battle goes on land. Now, the Guardian is completely clueless. Well, the Elder Guardian, you get the point. So, where exactly is this guy at? Now, all this loot over here, this is gonna be all mine as soon as I kill him. And I will finally control this entire place. Where's he at? Oh, clueless. Ah, there he is. Look at him. Just casually messing around. He's got no idea which one I am. But little does he know that I'm gonna take this guy out. Now, where is he? Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. Completely innocent. Look at him. He's even killing our own mind. That's just messed up. You know what? Watch this. He can't even tell. Who was that? I don't think he knows. <laughs> I'm gonna lose him real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with him a little bit. We're way too quick with it. There he is. He's a little bit confused. I'm gonna get him from the top. Hit him with some damage. Oh, I think it's working. We're tied out. <laughs> What you gonna do, huh? All right, we're dipping. We're out of here. I just hopped over this place. You ever seen a flying guardian? Well, guess what? That's me. <laughs> Yo, he's eating. Look at me. The funny thing is, I don't even need my ring of undying. There he is. He still thinks that he's finding the right one. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can jump in the air and snipe him. Oh, almost had him. Oh, look at him. Is he really trying to damage him right now? Where are you going? Oh, he's got to eat on up, huh? Take this. Oh, where'd he go? Where's my trident? Uh, that's not good. I lost my trident somehow. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the trident is gone. I, I think he might have taken it. Oh, wait. No, he didn't take it. Never mind. Come on. Yeah. Get him with the lasers. He's really not doing any damage to me at all. I kind of feel like I'm, I'm being a little bit unfair here. I'm hopping over this place. Let's see if we can actually get him onto land and see if we can take him on there. I need a challenge after all. I mean, think about it. I'm extremely decked out. He's swimming so slow. He's just trying to figure out who it is. Look at him. He still doesn't know. <laughs> Imagine being betrayed by one of your own. Look at him. You were messing this up for yourself, bro. Yeah, let's go take this onto land. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Oh, okay. Maybe it's a little bit sus. Come catch me. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yo, he literally can't catch up. That's so funny. <laughs> we're sending it. Oh, he's still trying to catch me. Let's take it to some close calls right here. There we go. Get around the corner. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. He can't even get me with the laser. Oh, he's running away. Where do you think you're going, huh? Oh, no. Okay. All right, chill. Go. I'm out. Get in with that loyalty trident. Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. Come on. Yeah. Man, this guy definitely has a lot of health. Oh, he's running away. I'm gonna follow him in there. There he goes. What you doing, huh? Yo, you want some of this? Yeah. He's gonna break my trident at this point. Wrong one. Wrong one. He's still. Oh, that's it. That's the end of it. I am officially the king.
king of the ocean monument. Now everybody bow down or else you're going to die. I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. <laughs> or am I? The only thing is, I'm still a regular guardian. Boogly, 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 boogly. From base 56 to 60, I finally completed the portal to Atlantis. Well, now that I'm the guardian king, I'm officially ready. So what is all this fuss about when it comes to the Atlantean portal? Hmm, elder guardian only. Interesting. Danger, don't touch out of service. I mean, I can definitely see there's two blocks missing here and then three more on the top. But why does it say danger? Is there something inside it that we don't know about? If I was the Elder Guardian, I would just be living there. But check this out. We own all this gold over here, the emeralds, the diamonds, and the bookshelves. But I think these are the two cores that we actually need. So one and two. Okay, that creates the Atlantean core. Now we still need three more pieces. So how do we craft them exactly? Four cobblestone, four ingots, and an ocean lantern. Well, I, that's not that bad at all, honestly. Let's put two pieces down over here and let's get all the materials that we need from our base. So we're gonna need about 12 iron ingots, 12 cobblestone. I really don't have cobblestone, come on, bro. We will also need two sea lanterns and three more iron ingots for this. Now, obviously I'm not gonna destroy my place. Instead, let's pay a visit to our neighbors. Do we have any lanterns in here? Nope, no lanterns, but a ring of experience. 2,000 blocks later, I'm officially here. And this place has its very own Elder Guardian boss. Ah, that is extremely annoying. You know what? Why not fight the Elder Guardian boss here as well? Let's grab the loot right before we get mining fatigue. Let's go. And let's break every part of this entire place. I'm sorry, my friends. It's the only way. My team must advance. Here he is. Hey, buddy. Stay right there. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah. <sighs> Much better. Wait, what? You've grown to the Elder Guardian, but I'm still the same. I don't understand. Three iron ingots, six lanterns, and there we have it. Oh, wow. We didn't really need that much. Never mind. <laughs> That'll be one core, the second one, and the third one. But why not add some decorations? Oh, yeah. This is going to be much better. There we go. Now, no one will forget. And let's change this out a little bit as well. Now, I got myself a brand new throne. The Atlantean cores are officially ready. We're going to put all three down over here. Right click it and boom! The Atlantean portal. The lost city of Atlantis. Here we go. Day 61 and 62, I created a conduit on top of the ocean monument and turned into the Elder Guardian. Well, now that we don't have to hide anymore, I can officially connect this all together. There we go. This is my official base. Now, the next thing we need is one heart of the sea, and we gotta create the actual conduit. So, surround it with the shells, and there we go. One conduit. And now, we're officially ready. So, we're gonna go on top of our location here, and we're gonna create one right over here on the top. It's not gonna be even, unfortunately, so I guess we can kind of, like, make it maybe down here or something. Ah, this can be a pretty solid spot. Okay, first, let's face everything out. So we'll start off with the sea lanterns and surround it with dark prismarines. Then a regular prismarine. And after a prismarine block on top and just like this. Now we need this on every single side. But this conduit is going to be pretty insane and definitely transform this entire place. Now we're going to replicate the same exact pattern on all sides. Sea lanterns just like this. And we're officially almost done. Connect it all together. And that should pretty much complete it. Now the conduit goes in the middle, I believe. It'll be right in the center. Oh no, I messed it up. Oh jeez. Okay, all right. And for the final part, the conduits. Oop, yeah! Now as soon as we break this block, let's go! Elder unlocked, let's go! I'm officially the Elder Guardian boss. The conduit powers the entire place. And I gotta say, as the Elder Guardian boss, I, I feel a little bit slower for sure. Let's reactivate the ring of the dolphin and switch it out with the ring of speed. Now I should be my max speed. Oh yeah, that will do it. <laughs> Look at me. I'm sending it. Oh, I'm a flying guardian. I'm officially the king. On day 63, I traveled to Atlantis as the Elder Guardian. From day 64 to 75, I explored every single biome inside of the Atlantis dimension. Oh, there we are. Wait, wait this is the Atlantis? Wait, hold on a second. Where's the city at? I, I don't I don't see no city at all. I just see some kind of a giant sun over there, and uh, that's that's about it. What biome exactly is all this? Just a bunch of corals. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks absolutely gorgeous, but it's not exactly what I was expecting. There's jellyfish. What is this supposed to be? Some kind of a clam. What's this? Oh, it just vanished. Wait, what? Well, everything else is still here. Interesting. So, exactly. 
exactly what is all this? Oyster shell blocks. So those are giant oysters. And inside of them are, I guess, the pearl blocks. So is there any other different biomes here? I gotta find the city. Maybe this is exactly why everything was off limits. Oh, it's that ore. Huh, interesting. Okay, I think we hit the jackpot for sure. Oh man, this is definitely the jackpot. Let's go, baby. I just don't fit anywhere because I'm so thick. So it looks like we're some kind of a, uh, what do you mean? Oh, what's going on here? Yo, what? What is happening right now? This is the Atlantina Islands biome. A bunch of different islands all over here. Interesting. So can we swim to the top? Let's find out. Yeah. Oh, my riptide still works in here at least. Huh? Yeah. Huh. Just look at that. There's an actual top part. It looks like the jellyfish are trying to sting me. We have dolphins. Hey, let's go. And some squids. There we go. A massive crater of a mountain. Now this place is called the Jellyfish Fields. So I'm guessing this is exactly where all the jellyfish is just casually even chilling at. Pretty cool place. Kind of reminds me of SpongeBob. And all these things over here are like small little houses. Literally SpongeBob style. Bro, that's gotta be Squidward's house. <laughs> it's literally Squidward's, bro. I just heard another guardian. And would you look at this? Another pearl block. Still, it gives you nothing. You know, I really thought this entire place was gonna be a little bit crazier. But it looks like this is a final biome. It's called the Volcanic Dark Sea. All it does is just casually pushes you up. You can't even go inside. Well, what actually is inside? I wonder. Oh, man, I'm just way too thick for this place. Yeah, just, just a whole lot of nothing. I thought Atlantis was supposed to be a massive city filled with riches. Well, where's it all at? I can't even find the lost city. From the 76 to 80, I went searching for the aquamarine ore. Found inside the Atlantean fountains. I then smelted everything and turned into gems. And this is our first batch of aquamarine ore. So it's always found inside of these fountains here, especially in this dimension. Now, we did see a bunch of this in the overworld. I just didn't really think much of it. So all we gotta do is grab a bunch of them and then create ourselves an actual gem by smelting it. So we take it, we smelt it, we got the gem, and we can craft the armor set. Also, even the weapon set. Let's go! I really wonder if we can find anything else underneath it. I doubt it. I would need a total of, I believe, 36 pieces. Or maybe less. And another batch! Let's go! These are honestly really, really easy to find. There's so many of these volcanic islands here. How have we not found the lost city yet? And that will do it. On day 81, I created the aquamarine armor. And I tested its abilities. And now that we're back home, yeet! Let's place down our blast furnaces. Not in water, of course. And let's get smelting. Seven aquamarine gems. And that's gonna be 15. That will give us a chest plate and boots. Now here's our helmet and our pants. And now we officially have the aquamarine armor set. That's pretty cool. I can't tell if I swim a lot faster now. Not really sure. Here's regular swimming. And then with the armor set. Seems just about the same. Well, on the bright side, I keep getting random help for some reason. Every single time I eat. From days 82 to 90, found the entrance to the lost city of Atlantis. It was guarded by the mighty Hydra boss. But that wasn't gonna stop me from getting rich. I'm officially at a solid, uh, yeah, three full hearts plus four more. Oh, my health just keeps on going up and up. There he is, the Hydra boss. So I guess he's the one in charge of this place. Now, to get inside, it's gonna be kind of tricky. It's a lot of bedrock, but I mean, then again, I'm not really that hidden at all. I wonder if he finds me as a threat. Let's just throw a casual trident at him. Maybe he won't see me. I can see him through the walls, at least, with my guardian vision, but, uh, it ain't really doing much here. Interesting. Try to go for the laser beam attack. Oh, this man's got TNT, apparently. Okay, well, luckily, I can throw out my spike ability. I can shoot out giant shards at enemies. Just has a very long cooldown. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely not even hitting him at all. Yeah, that's, that's no damage at all. I wonder if it's immune to lasers. Oh, did I hit him? It's working. Let's fight the Guardian. Oh, never mind. This Hydra's kind of tough. The Guardian of Atlantis. Buddy, you're barely doing any damage to me. Let's see if we can actually outspeed him. Oh, yeah, that's way too easy. Wait for it. Let's go. Oh, he's throwing TNT. Yeah, that's kind of sus. These trinets are just not doing it. Are these even hurting him? I don't think that's even... Oh, that is hurting him. I got him with my spikes. The spikes are damaging him. Yes. Let's throw a trident. And... And let's go! Let's swim all the way up. All right, clearly, we have a massive advantage. After all, we are extremely powerful. Look at him tossing all that TNT. Watch this. Wait for it. And closer. But <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I can just use my fists. Probably does the same amount of damage. He's kind of doing some damage, but I just regenerate so quickly. It's absolutely insane. Oh, oh, never mind. Uh, okay, all right. On second thought, he actually is doing some damage. Yeah. Oh, he's got me down. Yo, what? Oh, no, the lighting's hurting me. I'm gonna switch out the armor sets. I don't trust it. I need something a little bit stronger. There we go. That's a lot better. And let's get rid of Ring of Speed. Oh, okay. There he goes. All right, Ring of Undying it is. Wait for it. Steady. Fire. Let's stay on him. Let's stay on him. All right, there we go. Okay, it's kind of dropping down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go, baby. If I keep doing 
doing this, my trident is gonna break. And that's gonna give me a big disadvantage. Hit him with a laser. And there we go. We're pushing it back. Perfect. Slap him with that. More laser ability. With the spikes. Come on, the combination. Let's go. That's kind of sus. I'm gonna gaffle up, because why not? Why not be a savage? It's clearly retreating for me. I don't know how much health this thing has, but all I know is with Hydras, you cut down one head, and the other one goes back. That's the most sus part about this all. Come on. Keep striking him. The end is near. What? What? What, what is he talking about? Something tells me this might not be it. It's not even trying to fight me. I need backup. I back up what is this dude talking oh no oh, no oh no okay hold on chill chill no no wait come on this will do it let's go that's it it's over it's over for the hydra you can't stop the lasers they're way too overpowered well uh that'll definitely do it now let's go inside and on day 91 as soon as i stepped inside the lost city of Atlantis, i became the buff guardian Let's go, baby. I'm the buff guardian. And I can still do this. Yee! I gotta say, that's pretty cool. I have a total of three heads. From these 92 to 98, I went inside the lost city of Atlantis. And there he was, Godzilla, guarding all the riches. He was the final boss fight. What? Godzilla inside of Atlantis? How does that make any sense at all? I mean, I, I guess it's kind of guarding all the riches out there, but it is what it is. All right, I'm ready for a battle. Is this dude really throwing TNT underwater? What in the world? happening right now oh oh it's kind of getting close to me oh it's firing some fireballs that's a little bit sus how are you supposed to fight this thing yo the fireballs are literally boosting it nope chill 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 back up back up try to hold it back a little bit let me deflect the fireballs back onto it it's working ne never mind they do a lot of damage yeah, they do a lot ow, 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 ow. they do a lot of damage I'm gappling up gappling up going in for the trying to hit yes let's go now we talking yeah i don't have much durability left on my trident i gotta run yeah let's go deflect the fireballs get it back hit him with a trident get him with a laser in the feet gotta go for its feet I'm, I'm guessing hitting his head is just not gonna work especially when he disappears half the time if you look at him okay all right this is kind of sus i gotta keep my distance definitely gotta keep my distance he's trying to melee me wait for it and go oh yeah terrible idea bad idea yeah really bad idea go i'm going in for the melee hits let's go i'm shooting out my spike ability i think godzilla's retreating right now definitely not having the best time is he where you go buddy huh no Yo, these fireballs barely do anything to me. It's probably because it's moving around so much. Oh, we're going outside. Okay, we're going outside, I guess. All right, makes sense. It, it, it do be like that sometimes. We'll have all my abilities officially engaged, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> They're all fully active. I got absorption, night vision. I have almost like five bars of health as well, which is ridiculous. So I definitely have a very huge advantage when it comes to fighting Godzilla. And the trident definitely keeps me extremely agile. Oop, got it. All right, we're going to use it for emergencies only. Okay, where's he going? Where's Godzilla going? Oh, we got to hurry up. It's retreating. Where's he going? Go back inside. Oh, uh, what's wrong, buddy? Is it, is it, am I not too much for you? Is that what's happening right now? Come on, try me. That's, that's not gonna do anything on me <laughs> oh okay may maybe a little bit but still i have five bars of health i can definitely take a bunch of hits without a problem and i have a full other armor set too this is no problem for the buff guardian there we go deflect the fireballs go for the hits it is so hard to tell if you're doing damage honestly okay i, I really can't tell anymore oh i think it's working the triad's working let's go i can't tell if it's regenerating health so quickly oh i'm getting hits on him it's either he's hitting me or i'm getting hits on him go for the legs let's get it all right come on hit him with that ability almost running away i'm not backing down let's go almost how much health does this thing have I mean, then again, what was I expecting? From a massive boss like this, literally the size of the building itself, I'm not even sure how he fits inside that place. But you know what? You don't question Godzilla. You really just don't question what's going on. Is it working? Is it... Oh, okay. I'm down to four bars of health. Four bars. That's a lot. That's definitely a lot of health still. <laughs> don't do this. Is Godzilla asking for mercy? Are you kidding me right now? Bro, I'm the buff guardian. It's not gonna happen. I have three elder guardians on my face. What you mean? Let's work together. There's no working together. I'm stealing all your stuff. And I'm going to be the richest guardian in the world. Let's finish this. Come on. I know that laser ability is doing a ton of damage. Wait for it. Let's go. It's official. I barely lost any health at all. Now let's grab all this loot. And let's get out of here. We have stacks on top of stacks of diamond, gold, plenty of emerald blocks as well. Okay, we are balling on another level at this point. <laughs> Look at this. If I want to come back here, I can officially do so. We even have netherite. Netherite blocks. That's overpowered. What am I supposed to do with all this netherite? That's insane. That is just so satisfying. 
And on day 99, we stole all the loot from Godzilla's palace. And on day 100, I finally went back home. And I filled the entire ocean monument with all the riches that I collected. Let's turn this entire ocean monument into the richest monument in the world. Filled with the craziest resources all around the outside and even the inside. I'm going to create massive pillars all around here. Made of diamonds and even netherite blocks. Now this is what I'm talking about. Sprinkle in some emeralds, add in a little bit of gold, mix in some casual diamonds, and same goes for the opposite side. But don't worry, we still have plenty of resources to go around. Well, the outside looks pretty cool, and for the inside, the same exact design here. This is what I call ballin' on a budget. We're officially the richest ocean monument in all of the oceans. Oh, man, I don't fit no more. Oh, bro, I'm way too thick for this. That concludes 100 days as an Elder Guardian. And hit this playlist right over here to watch my other 100-day videos. Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss it.